Hey folks, welcome back. So today, what we are going to be doing is trying to get some tile down in this entryway to the loft of the mill house. Now the reason for that is I just want a spot right here, right near the door, where I'll have a little bit of room to kick off boots and shoes, and if I track in any mud or snow or anything like that, uh, it'll be on a, a non-wood surface, so it'll be a little bit easier to clean up, and it's not going to be soaking into here and messing this stuff up. Now the reason I'm going with tile instead of something else is because uh, I quite literally have tons of tile. I have thousands and thousands of pounds from it from when a flooring store that was local was changing locations and they had a bunch of leftover kind of odds and ends of stuff and they wanted it gone. So it was free and I said, sure, I'll take that. So I've got a bunch of tile and so it basically is a very, very, very low cost thing for me to put this in. We happen to get a day here this week where it's actually a little bit warm out. It's up into the 50s and so I decided it would be a good time to try and get this project done while it's warm enough to actually do it. Alright, so we got our two pieces of plywood cut here and those are each two by four feet wide. So that way we'll be able to have a four by four area here. Uh, it just seemed like a nice number and I was kind of looking at it. I think that should be big enough. And the tiles I'm using are 12 inch tiles. So it just works out real nice. Well, it wouldn't be a normal project if everything went the way that I wanted it to. With that said, this is going to be a normal project. And the reason for that is my tile adhesive apparently is just a little bit too old. Uh, it's not spreadable. It's, it's kind of thickened up a little bit. It's not solid, but it, it's not anywhere as soft as it should be. Now, as luck would have it, I was just down at Lowe's today and I think it's going to be about another week before I'll be back down there again. So in just a second here, we are going to be jumping ahead probably about a week. So yesterday, I picked up another tub of this tile adhesive. Uh, I didn't get quite as big of a uh, container this time because obviously it doesn't last real, real long if you don't use it. Now I actually only needed about two quarts, I figure, to do this surface area. And this is actually a one gallon container. But it's one of those things where the cost of two quarts was exactly the same price as getting a one gallon jug of it instead. So I got a one gallon, I'll have extra, and if I need it, I need it, and if I don't, I don't. Alrighty. Yeah, this stuff looks nice and goopy. Ooh, look at that. That is so much more spreadable than that old jug of it. Right, that's half of it and you may I'm not sure you may be able to pick up on the camera in the video that these tiles aren't exactly the same color um, I had 
a couple different stacks of them that were slightly different colors. They are fairly close and I didn't have enough of one or the other color to do it all on that one. So I'm just kind of doing a crisscross. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one are slightly lighter than this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, these are a little bit darker. They've got a little bit more brown in them. But unless you're really looking at it, uh, you don't notice it. Maybe if I opened up the door, had a little bit more natural light coming in, you might pick up on it then, but uh, they're, it's pretty close. So hypothetically, I might have not been paying attention to the camera, and while I was hypothetically not paying attention to the camera, it might have turned off. But we got two more tiles left to put in here, and then I'll go around, make sure everything looks like the, the seams are fairly even over the whole thing, and then we let it set for a good while. It'll set up and cure up, and it'll be good to go. Then we can put some grout in between here, and we'll have this thing finished up. I think that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but I never said it was gonna be either. So I think we're just gonna leave it as is, and then in another, I don't know, day or two, I'll be able to come back through and grout it. All right, our tile cement adhesive stuff is nice and set up here. So today we are gonna work on getting this stuff grouted. Now I've already got a bucket of grout ready to go here. This is all mixed up. It's been uh, mixed for as long as it's supposed to, so we're gonna start. Uh, putting this into our cracks. Now you're supposed to use something called a grout float and I don't have one of those so we're just going to kind of make do with what we got and just smear it into the uh, the cracks through here and it'll be good enough for what we got. Alrighty folks, I think that is going to do it for this project. 
I think I've done everything that I need to do to this project. Eventually, at some point, I'll probably put some sort of a little uh, piece of wood around the edge of it just to finish it out and make it look a little bit nicer. But I think that'll be a project for a different day. But as far as the grout goes on here, I think that is done. And it's just a matter of waiting another one to two days before it's fully cured up and set. Uh, until then, I'll have to make sure that I only step in the middle of the tiles and I'm not getting into the into the grout and messing any of that stuff up. So I think that is going to do it for this video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you.